Hello friends, this is Sherry. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm here for the first Friday of this new open collab where my co-host is Susan from Susan Hiles Art and I'm Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. So welcome to my craft room. Uh, we are doing a little collab here where it's going to be the next three Fridays in case you didn't know and this is the first time you heard about it. <laughs> we have lots of participants which we have there. Um, Susan and I both have their channels linked in our description box, so make sure you check everyone out. But yeah, what we're doing is having fun with some paper bags. Uh, the hashtag is let's use paper bags, but you don't have to use a paper bag. It can be fabric. Or um, for instance, for this week, we're de de that's February 11th, the first Friday. So this is for the next three Fridays, February 18 and 25th. So today is decorate or make a bag. So let's get rid of this. But you can make a bag out of anything you want. You can make it out of a doily or a placemat or fabric or burlap or whatever you want. So I'm using paper bags because I love paper bags, okay? And it, it kind of makes it easy because they're paper. You don't really have to sew anything unless you want to. I was going to start off with the idea I saw Susan show in her announcement video where she had won something from... Uh, Brittany Linger and I will Susan's of course link below because she's my co-host <laughs> and um, I will link Brittany's uh, channel also because uh, she won this something from Brittany but what Brittany did was really cool I thought and I don't think it's anything I've ever done before so she took a paper bag now she um, Susan showed uh, like a lunch bag like it so it was a bigger bag you know like, like a lunch lunch size bag that you would take your lunch in when you were a kid or maybe even now <laughs> but um, yeah so I've got a smaller one here so I thought I'd do the same thing but with a smaller one so I'm gonna try it I hadn't tried it before so what was what it looked like was like see how this is just a regular like a lunch sack where you have you have the gusset here and you have the little bottom part that you know when you open it up you know this is the bottom so it looked like this part was folded up this little bottom part just was left folded up and probably glued down but I'm going to before I glue it down I'm going to go ahead and it was decorated right here with a pretty piece of paper so I'm going to do that I pulled some scraps out of my scrap box and I'm going to go ahead and do that with a piece of scrap here and so uh, I'm going to, I'm kind of deciding on how I want to do this. So I think I'm going to, I have some old, these are very old, <laughs> as you can see. I found them at a thrift store, just like this old pinking shears. I brought, and I brought them because um, I wanted to use them on paper, you know. I have my fabric pinking shears, but I didn't want to use those on paper. So I think I'm going to cut, let me cut this right here so I can feel like they're stuck. <laughs> Why do they feel like they're stuck? I'll just, I'll just, I'm just going to go with it. So I'm going to cut here. I kind of want to see what this looks like with the pinking sheared edge. So I got that end and now I'm going to cut, let's see, I want that to go pretty much right to the end. So pretty much right here, I think. And... Try to cut a straight line there. Okay, so we've got our, let me see if that's good. See, I think it's really, um, I kind of thought maybe it would be cool if the edges of the paper, the brown paper would show. I kind of like that look of uh, elegant and rustic. So I would say this paper would be the elegant and this would be the rustic, right? So let's cut down here because I'm going to keep this. Let me cut right here and get our little pinking sheared edge on the bottom. And then we'll measure the top and see where we need to cut. And I'm hoping to get more than one paper bag decorated during this video. So we'll see how quick I can work today. <laughs> but I hope you're playing along at home too. Even if you don't want, you know, don't have a channel or whatever, you know. I think it'll be fun, uh, you know, to get ideas and to use your own ideas and imagination, you know. Uh, what I do is just get my stuff out and see what happens, you know what I mean? You never know what you're going to end up with. I think that's why I'm always surprised 
at the end of my video was like, I'm, I'm usually like, wow, that really turned out cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you know, I just kind of just go with the flow and see what happens. You know what I mean? I think that's really fun. So let's see. Uh, okay. I think I got this to the right size. So something like that would be cute. So I'm thinking also, I would like to possibly have a little finger hole here, just even if it's just for decoration. So maybe go ahead and glue this, this piece down. You can, can you tell I'm playing it by ear? <laughs> I just pulled out a bunch of stuff and I'll see what happens. Cause I, it's, there's so many things you can do if you start, if you start to do this project and you start to get things out, you're gonna be probably be the same as me. You're gonna be like, oh my goodness, which which way do I want to go? You could go vintage, you could go grungy, you could go, uh, you know, shabby chic. You know, there's just, you know, so many ways to decorate or make a paper bag. So let's see. I think I'm doing it this way with that little bit of pink on the top. And a little bit of paper bag peeking out on the sides. Okay, so that was art glitter glue, in case you wanted to know, that I used on the back of this. This is cardstock scrapbook paper that I'm putting down here. I thought also this would be a good place to use up paper, like scrapbook paper, more papery scrapbook paper, because you have this already layer here, and then you have a second layer. But I just happened to pull these pretty pieces out of my stash, so I'm going to go ahead and use these up at least a little bit of it up. So I'm going to put a little um, finger hole here in the middle of this fold, this flap, fold, whatever it is. Oops. <laughs> okay, that looks cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and I don't think I'm quite ready to glue this down yet. And I'll show you why. Because I have another piece of paper and I believe this was from the same paper, paper pad. It's a totally different kind of flowers, but I think it looks pretty together. I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to cut it to fit. See, see, I didn't want to glue it down because I want to put it down in the fold here a little bit, at least a little bit, enough to um, see how I have, I get to have the little flowers down in my little finger thumb hole there. See, if I glued this down, then I would be putting it up here and I wouldn't, I would have the paper bag there, which is nothing wrong with that, but I just thought it would be pretty to put the paper down there and isn't it pretty so i think that's going to be my next move here <laughs> to put this down in the uh put this down on the front of this paper bag so let me uh, measure here i think i wanted to t cover it uh, let me see if i want any paper bag to show let's see how that looks oh it does look cute doesn't it i was thinking i want to cover it but now i think i want it to show a little bit just like the bottom part Okay, we can do that, we can do that. <laughs> All right. So, so you can do this with any, what I'm doing right now, you can do it with anything, any kind of paper bag, right? Any size. Okay, well, let me keep, I put the cutter behind me, but I'm gonna keep the paper over here because I'm not sure, like I said, what direction I'm going with this. Okay, so up here, I don't have anything. It's just flat right here. You know, some pa paper bags have different stuff going on, shapes and things going on, maybe a thumb hole. This is just flat across, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to glue it down. And go from there. I make sure this is flowing. So I hope everyone had a great, is going to have a great, Friday and are having a great week. <laughs> yes, it's February. We're progressing with our new year here and hopefully everything is going well, right? For our new year, 2022. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I'm having a little bit of paper bag showing all the way around, so I'm going to leave a little bit at the top too, I think. All right, I like that. <laughs> Cute. Now what um, Susan showed was a bag with two pockets. So she had a pocket down here and then another pocket up here. Okay, so let me see how I want to do that. 
I could actually, I was thinking I was going to put it right here on top of this one, but now I think I want a little bit of a gap here and then put it up here, okay? I think that would be cute. Almost like, it just reminds me of like a mail, you know, like a little mail holder you hang on the wall, those little mail uh, things that you used to be able to buy, that uh, wooden one or sometimes I guess they might have been metal, but you know, they're kind of decorative, but they're for your mail and you hang them on your, by your door or something. And then sometimes they have little hooks on the bottom for your keys. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Make it look like a little mail holder, but it's gonna be a little ephemera holder. All right, cool. Yeah, this is fun, right? <laughs> Experimenting to see what happens. I'm gonna do the pinking shears again. I like that, a little different look. And then I'm gonna do a little thumb hole again. I think that helps it make it look like a mail holder, whatever it's called, I'm calling it a mail holder. Okay. And then we're gonna glue this right here. A little bit of my paper is showing here, but I don't care about that. Paper and bag, I think that's all nice. Looks nice. Okay, so we're gonna just put glue around the outside of this, sides and bottom, leaving our top open and I'm gonna try to get it on these little ridges a little bit so it's nice and glued down to the edge. All right, so there we go. All right, and over. I need room. Okay. <laughs> okay, so right here in the middle. Cute. So you can position it any way you want. If you do this, put your, if you do wanna do two pockets, you can put it down farther or, you know, wherever you want. I kind of like it like this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. I don't think I need it flapping, flapping out like that. So let's uh, try to think, because this is kind of thick, I might use some, I might go ahead and use some Fabri-Tac on here, just because it's a little bit thicker, heavier kind of piece since I have got two layers here. And, you know, Make it a little stronger. Okay. So we got that. So I'm picturing this uh, possibly being glued down. It could be on the inside of a journal cover. I mean, let me let this glue, uh, let me grab my glue pad here. I always forget to bring it over here. Sorry, reaching and reaching around. <laughs> Stuff here. Okay, so yeah, I need to, I just glue my ooze out, and so I want this down to protect my cutting mat. Okay, so I need to let that dry. Let me see if it's sticking. Yeah, sticking, sticking over here. Okay, so I'm picturing this being glued down, so it, it's small enough so it could be glued down inside of a journal cover, probably front or back, or it could be glued down on a page. So if I'm going to do that, I'm not going to need to decorate the back because this is going to be glued down. Uh, so, you know, we'll have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So uh, do I want this to open up when it's glued down into a page? I can have this glued down and you'll be able to, you know, op open it like this and put lots of stuff in there. Or you could glue your gussets together and have it a little bit more flat. But I think, I think maybe a good idea, what I would like is to be able to open it up like this because it's kind of deep, you know, it goes way down here. So if you can open it up, even if it's glued onto a page, just like picture it being glued onto a page right now, you open it up and you can actually reach your hand down in there. And if something gets down in there, you can get it out. <laughs> But if it's glued down together, you have to be careful that you only put things in there that are tall enough for you to be able to pull it out from here, okay? So yeah, I've talked myself through this now, <laughs> and the practical uh, uses of 
leaving this open, so I'm going to leave it open. So, uh, do we want to do anything else here? We could leave it just like this. Or we could put something on here. I have words. I have Tim Holtz. I'm thinking uh, I would like a little flower. Of course, I am now just now thinking about this, and I don't have a little flower, or do I? Wait, let me look right here. I got this little basket of bits out. Let me see if I have anything in here, a little, any type of little flower. Uh, this is where I throw stuff that I don't, little bits that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> so I throw them in this little basket. It's not too bad. I, I, you know, it's not overflowing or anything. So, uh, but I do need to, you know, look in here once in a while and use something. Here's some little frames. Aren't those cute? Put a little frame on there. So, and then a little word could be put in there. That would be cute. That would look like a mail slot too, wouldn't it? Hmm, interesting. Okay, let me see. And I have another one here. Does it match? This one kind of matches. This one, I don't know. Let me see if I have any more in here. Is that the, I don't have to put one on both of them. This one could be different up here. So, oh, I do have another one. Let's see. Oh, I have two more. Ooh, let me see. Let me get them. I don't even know where I got these. Maybe in Happy Mail. Okay, so I've got this one, which is also has the oranges and yellows, which doesn't really go with this. And this one has orange and green, so that's why I'm saying it doesn't really go. But this one has pinks in it, so that would go. Nice little star. I kind of like that, though. I don't know if I want it on both of them, though. I think I want it. I think I want this one down here. Okay, so I wasn't even picturing that, but I'm, that's why I put it here to look through. Uh, let me see if I see anything else I want to put up here, or do I want to leave it like that? Uh, let me see. And since this will be won't be tucked into a pocket or anything, or anything, I don't have to keep it super flat. Let's see. Here's a little bow. Too big and too dark. Uh, here's a piece of lace. Oh, this is a little tag. Never mind. I mean, that could be go in the pocket. That could go in the pocket. Well, let's put it down here because it's small. And that could go in the pocket. Yeah, okay. In the pocket. Oh, here's a cute bow. This is really bulky, though. I wouldn't put this on here. If, if it wasn't going in a, in a journal, this could be good. But this is a really bulky bow. So let's see, anything else? I kind of would like a little flower, but that's too big. Okay, any, any little flowers in here? I know where I have some little flowers, so I might have to pause and go get them. Okay, I'll be right back. Just, just give me a second. Okay, so this is the little flowers I was thinking about. I guess these are called ribbon flowers. And I picked these up. I haven't used them in a while. I have used them, but not in a while. And uh, I had picked these up at a thrift store, so I kind of would like to use one of these if I could. If it works. Uh, these are a slightly bulky, but uh, let's see, what about a purple one? No oh, purple one. I wish I had a pink one. I don't think I have a pink one in here. I was thinking I had a pink one, but I don't have a pink one. <laughs> this have purple ones. Will a purple one work? Wait, you know what? I don't think it works. For me, it doesn't work. Okay. So let's stop looking at the flowers. I, I had to try it. Uh, you can always use buttons and whatever you have around to decorate. So I think I want to, do I want to go ahead and put a word in here or leave it open at the top to tuck a word in? I'm going to go ahead and leave it open at the top and just glue the sides down. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac again. This is a little cardstock piece. I wonder if this was a die cut because look it has like a box looking it looks like a something cut from a box or something on the back and then it's pretty on the front so maybe this was a die cut I don't know I don't have it's not like I said I don't know where I got it I don't know if I got it in Happy Meal or from a thrift store but I'm going to put it down like this I'm going to glow here here and here so yeah that will be cool here, here, and here, right on the side, so I don't take up space with my glue, too much space. I'm going to put a little bit on these little side tabs, too. And I might put a little 
get a marker and put a little black or brown mark inside those because there's holes right there so it looks like it's um, kind of held on by a possibly held on by a kind of like a brad or something okay did I do that right I hope I did I think I did okay so I'm gonna let that dry looking cute right you can put some lace on here uh, let's see so I could put some lace right here let's see do I have any lace right here I've got my scrap fabrics here too I just got the whole, whole bunch of stuff out just so I could have you know have everything at my tip fingertips here but uh, let me grab a piece of lace okay uh, detour I uh, went to grab lace and I grabbed Rick Rack instead <laughs> so you never know what I'm going to come back with, right? <laughs> I'm using Rick Rack here. I'm going to put this right here. I think this will be cute. Something unexpected, possibly. You might expect lace, but I'm doing Rick Rack. <laughs> so, and I'm going to put a little bit of this Fabri-Tac on here, since this is like fabric. And it's oozing out besides that. Let me put it down here so I can get it on there. I'm putting it right in the middle here so that it hopefully doesn't show on the outskirts of it, outside of it. I got a big glob there and then, okay. It's all up and down though. Okay, well, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna put this, I know I'm covering up my my pinking shirt edge there but I think it will look pretty right here okay all right so I really did not intend in doing all this I'd expected just to put a couple of pockets on here and be done but why not embellish it a little bit more okay so we got that this might be all we get done today since we're doing so much to it. I just didn't picture doing all this to this, but why not have some fun with it? Okay, so I do have some words here, and I don't think any of my Tim Holtz is going to go because it's kind of more vintagey looking, looking, and I like the like the fresh kind of uh, newer look to this paper bag right now. Bright, pretty like springy colors. I don't know about you, but yeah, I'm waiting for spring, anxiously waiting. <laughs> oh wait, I just saw something. I was just about to put it away and I just saw something really cute. Let me see what, real quick. Oh, oh, here it is. I wanna see what this is. It's a little, oh, it says prescription druggist on here. A little label would look cute, but that's too big. Okay, that's too big. All right, well, we're gonna put that aside. So we've got that. Now that I put that white rickrack, no, I still don't like the flower. <laughs> I had to try it one more time. Okay, let's look at a couple words and see if we can find any words we want to put on here. So these are kind of vintagey looking, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use those. These are gr darker green. These are turquoisey. Turquoisey might go because we've got this is kind of turquoisey too. So let's see. Any turquoisey turquoisey words we want to use. Here's one that says my story. Let's see. Any other words that would go with that? Like my story. Um, I like that. It's right here in the top. Right there. Um, happy heart. That's nice. Uh, the Book of Life. Uh, I'd like to make a little phrase if I could, but I don't want to take a long time here. With um, keep calm and read a book. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, oh, how about my story? Uh, just some, okay, let's, let's start with my story. Let's see if we can put it on here somewhere that looks nice. Do we want to put it here? Do we want to put it up here? I 
think that if I put it, I think that if I put it, I like it right there. Let's do that. Let me put a little bit of glue on it so it doesn't come off later. It might stick for now, but it might come off later if I don't put glue on it. Okay, I'm going to put it right in the middle of these flowers right here. My story kind of blends in, but uh, I kind of like that because I like all the flowers being the focal point. Okay, my story and just some words that's not necessarily a phrase, but they kind of go together maybe if I want to put another word on there or two. So, my story. How about an XOXO? Would that be cool? It's a little. My story XOXO. I'm going to just put it on here and then I can pull it up and glue it on if, if I. Um, that's so small. Let me put the smaller one on top of that. Let me see if I like that. XOXO. Yeah, I don't think I like it. I don't think I like it. I like the just the most. Oh, wait a minute. I like this right here. Okay. And let's try XOXO, my story, and then one more. Um, it's the little things. How about that? Is that too big? It's the little things right here. I don't want to cover up the flowers, though. Oh, I think that's too big. Even though I like it, it's too big. Okay. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me looking at these for a minute. XOXO, my story, and how about just the word love? I just don't want to cover up too much. So, yeah, that's better. Just a couple of small words. So there we go. All right, I'm going to call this done. And I think I'm going to have to end this video. <laughs> I probably have about a few minutes, but not enough time to make it, you know, decorate another bag. Uh, the way I would probably want to so I'm going to glue these two down but uh, this will be a pocket let's see let me show you real quick here's our pocket here pocket here we've got pocket here we glue it down here and XOXO my story and love their words and we've got our little frame here and something can fit in here too. Actually, this could actually even be a little pocket, couldn't it? You could put something in there, like a pocket, or put a word down in there that you want to, uh, you know, like the word notes or, you know, whatever you would want to put in there. So, super cute, right? All right, I hope you enjoyed this first Friday of our Susan and I's collab. And if you want to join in, uh, you know, it's not too late. If you you want to join in today it's not too late just post your video use that hashtag let's use paper bags and um, if you can't join in today join in next Friday or the next Friday you don't have to do any you if you just ha only have time for the last Friday that is fine so uh, the uh, everything will be posted under the prompts and everything so you have all that you need to participate in any any Friday that you want so it's just these three Fridays but stay tuned because we already have plans for March too. Something really fun. So uh, we will see you in the next video. I will see you in my next video and see you for this collab next Friday. Thanks for watching everybody and uh, happy crafting. Have fun with your paper bags. See you, ne see you next time.